Hey, Noah. Can you see it? I don't know. Oh. Hi, JoJo and Jordan. What's no, up? I can't see you. Oh, no, you can't see me? What? I got to see that face. Oh, no. Uh oh. oh Producers, no. help. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you guys can't see me like last time. Remember, it was like a mystery until I put it all together. I was like, oh, you know. <laughs> I, I do remember that. All right, well, we'll roll with it. <laughs> it's so nice to see you guys once again. It's been so long. Oh my gosh, where is the time gone? <laughs> Good to be back with you. Oh, it's so nice to speak with you guys once again. So Jojo and Jordan, you both got married in 2022, just celebrated your wedding anniversary that happened on May 14th. Now the both of you are hosting a divorce dating series. Say what? What is going on? <laughs> Tell me about this show, you guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is kind of funny, right? When the when the show came to us, we were in the we were engaged at the time. So it was it was definitely something that we were like, okay, how can we how can we give our input on this? And and I think for us, you know, in general, we met in a crazy scenario on a reality TV mm -hmm. dating show. So first, we know that you can find love and you can open up your heart to connections in this sort of setting. Um, if you really like stick with it and open yourself out. Um, but I also yeah. think that, you know, divorce is, is such an untalked about subject. Um, mm -hmm. And I think for me, I, I really love the, the aspect of showing that there can be heart, uh, hope after heartbreak. And all of our couples, no one gets married to get divorced. That is never on the, the docket for them. No one ever wants that. And all of our couples, whether they married young, whether, whether they've been divorced for years, months, whatever it is, divorce was never a part of the plan. But they're all in a situation now where they're ready to move forward in their life um, and welcome a really healthy, amazing relationship, which I think we were both so lucky to find in such a unique way. Um, so we mm -hmm. really loved that of it and this show has it oh all. my god it has it all it's gonna be fireworks <laughs> it's the drama of every good dating show that you love i mean divorced couples living in the same house you know there's gonna be some crazy stuff happening but also that right? underlying factor of finding love finding hope having growth fixing communication with maybe your ex so you can move on or maybe fixing communication mm -hmm. so you can get back together yep <laughs> Now, you guys, from the participants that joined the first season of the reality series, The Big D, what have you learned from them that can also help you in your own personal relationship so you don't make the same errors that they did? Wow. Uh, let me tell you. So we <laughs> sat in the green room, obviously, a lot, right, getting makeup and wardrobe. And Dr. Jada Jackson, oh. our relationship expert on the show as well, was there with us. It's we amazing. got so many unbillable hours of therapy. And I hope she doesn't send us a bill because it's going to be expensive. We got hours of just <laughs> watching the show, watching these relationships and going, you know, we we never really talked about that. Or actually, we do that sometimes, too. Yeah. So there was a lot of times that we sat back and go, hey, like we got stuff we can still work on. I mean, we're seven years into this now and we're married a year. So, um, but it was pretty fun to uh, to be a part of it, be a fly on the wall, be a host, help out at times, and that I, whole role. I also will say going through this journey, if you will, and watching all these ex, you know, couples and and watching these these moments where they're, they're finding that closure or having these realizations. And there's so much mm -hmm. inner growth that you see individually, you see between ex couples. It just is a really great re reminder. And I think for us to stick, take a step back and realize there's really nothing that you can't talk through. You can't sort through. You can't figure out if you have the right tools to do it. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I completely agree. And it leads me to the next question. How is it like to actually host a reality series and how will the show be, you know, set apart from other reality programs that we see on TV? Because we have a lot of those on TV, a lot of reality shows. <laughs> We, we well, love it's a, it's a great mashup. I it is say. right. I mean, so you can yeah. get a dating show about anything you want on any platform you want. But like Jojo said earlier, I don't think anybody has really approached the divorce category in this way because there is such a negative stigma. It's taboo, right? People want to see new love and they kind of forget about the fact that, well, after a relationship, you can also find new love and you can be a new person, a new chapter in your life. Yeah. And that may be new love with the person that you thought it was never going to be with again. It may be new love mm -hmm. with someone that you never thought you could match with. So I think it's got a great combination of the drama, the train wreck of putting a bunch of people in a house, dating each other's exes. I mean, that's there's going to be drama. And then it's got <laughs> that underlying factor where you're like, 
you really start to yeah. root for some of these couples, some of these individuals that found growth and are ready to take that next step and find love again. And without giving any spoilers away, I will say, you know, it, it's interesting. <laughs> you see a lot of dating shows where just exes, ex-boyfriends, ex-girlfriends, maybe they rekindle romance, but you know, divorce is a very final thing for a lot of people. And, and mm -hmm. you have these individuals coming onto this show who some of them are like, Hey, peace out. We've been divorced forever. I'm going to go mingle. One's trying to get back with the S. One's ready to move on. But you start to see these dynamics shift and yeah. change. And maybe their opinions swap from what they first said when they were going into this house. So it's really interesting to see how these couples who they made that final decision to get divorced. But maybe it's not really over. Mm, oh, well, we all got to stay mm -hmm. tuned and watch the first season then. What's going to happen on this wild adventure? Uh -huh. <laughs> A <You> lot. <laughs> now, what are some of the wildest or craziest things that you might can tease for us that we will see on the first season? My goodness, Noah. I think first <laughs> off, so there's going to be couples that move into the house together, but that's not the end. Uh, and there's a lot of times that we kind of just look over at the front door, maybe point in that direction. And you never know who's going to show up. And that 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 is the scary part about this thing. You never know who's going to walk through the front door. But I think Jojo said it was it's the most interesting is there was couples that had been divorced, hadn't talked in years. They showed up and like, I am single. And then you better remember that a couple days in, they are starting to look at their ex going, interesting I mean, <laughs> this might not be over so um it's pretty crazy oh my gosh this might be the craziest show ever coming out this summer on the usa <laughs> this is a this is gonna be a whole lot of fun popcorn and all it grab the m&ms right. and everything else you know in between <laughs> let me just tell you no we were in the production room while this is filming sometimes on camera sometimes oh, off camera we had to jump in in the morning we had to jump in and talk to some talk them off a ledge at times like no it's all good like i mean this was it's going to be, it is going to be fun that to watch. Was my favorite things about this show, you know, it was really great. You know, we've hosted uh, a couple of shows together now and we love doing it, obviously for the job side of it, but on the big D, you know, we were very hands-on and involved with the, with these individuals. And it was a really cool uh, thing for us to be able to do, to, to give insight if we could, you know, obviously we've never been divorced and we, we make that obviously very clear, but we have right. gone through scenarios where, where, you know, in this setting, you can really start to self-sabotage. You can really start to self-doubt. You can start to close yourself off because it's such an unusual environment. And so there were moments where we were like, hey, we've been there. Yeah, We know what this mm. is like. I know it feels weird. I promise you, if you like this person, if you, see, you think there's a connection, that can happen. It can happen. We're married. Mm -hmm. We've been together seven years. So there were moments like that that I think were really cool just to be a friend to them, uh, which I really mm -hmm. enjoyed. I think they could not have picked a better two hosts, a better couple to do this, to give advice, to help these couples along the way. Um, you know, Thank now you. JoJo and Jordan, aside from the show, you know, People Magazine wrote about the two of you wanting to build a family. Yes, that's right, <laughs> JoJo and Jordan. Uh, when might that be? And how many kids would the both of you like to have someday in the near future when you grow your family? It's kind <laughs> of wild that we've been together. We've been married for a year now. Obviously, it's been seven years we've been together. But... I don't know. We've always said that we want we want kids, right? We were so excited to to have a family in the future. And I will say, like that conversation has that it's been happening a lot, almost on like daily. Daily, you know, all of our friends already, you know, have kids, multiple kids, and we're just we're we're figuring it out. So I would say in this next year, we're gonna we're gonna have to. Figure we might out. have an announcement the next year. We're not breaking news right now. Oh. Now. Tell oh. you, we have a we have a long list. We do the name game all the time. We got a bunch of girl names. We have no guy names. So like, we're oh, in I trouble. Do, I do love the name Noah. Though, Noah. I already have a, I have already have a nephew named Noah, so I can't steal uh, it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Joseph. You know, my dad's uh -huh. name is not bad. A lot of J's. J's. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> J's and N's. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Now, living the married life, you guys, what have, you know, you two come to learn even more about each other now being married? <laughs> I feel like we learn something every single day. I, you know, one, one of the most interesting things is, and we we were very clear about the fact that we had a really tough first year after the, the, the Bachelorette. I mean, it was, there was a lot of points where we very easily could have walked in different directions. Um, it was just really hard. I think the more we're together, the more... The more, not, it sounds cliche, but the more fun we have. And sometimes we'll be in one of those arguments that every couple has and we just start laughing. <laughs> and, and it's like, what, what are 
are we doing? <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I will tell you one thing that we did learn from the big D and it's something that we've carried throughout. Uh -huh. Um, something that Dr. Jada kind of taught us. It was like, we, I can't remember how it got brought up with that. Like Jordan said, in the well, green room, we argue sometimes it like, we're, we're just on different pages. I want to talk <laughs> it out and she wants to just get it over with. And, the, and it just kind of <laughs> escalates because we're speaking a different language. See, Dr. Jada told us, and it's the simplest thing, but it's like, in those moments where you kind of feel like we're not aligning, we're not seeing eye to eye, someone throw up uh, a hand and be like, all right, we're taking five. We're, we're just going to take five. So now we do that. And, and it's almost that icebreaker. Like, we'll, someone will be like, take five. And then you start to giggle. <laughs> and then you realize, okay, this is dumb. Come yeah. on. Let's take a second, come back to this, laugh a little bit, and let's figure this out. Yeah. We have to see the bloopers. USA Network has to send me something of you guys – being so silly and comical. I mean, y'all are just so much fun. I, I have to meet you guys in person versus doing the I virtual know. interview. We, we have to that. make it happen. We will. We will for sure. Now, last question to the both of you, to young viewers watching today that are in love and they want to tie the knot with their spouse. What words of advice would you give to young couples looking to grow together and are committed in a serious relationship? Because I think you guys are like relationship goals. I think you guys are perfect. You have such great knowledge about being in a relationship. You know, for me, it's no, no relationship is perfect. I think that, and no individual is perfect. I think that was one thing that we kind of, really worked at realizing throughout our relationship. It's like, not one of us is smarter than the other, right? All the time. It's like having that self-awareness and realizing you're a team at the end of the day, every situation you go through, every disagreement, you, you work as a team because you want the same output. And so the outcome. Mm -hmm. And so I think just working through things, even when it's tough, it's not easy to do, you know, but just it's work and you have to put in the work and you have to nurture your relationship. And that's something and you have to continue to work on communication. Cause I, yeah. that's, that is cliche, but it is the most important thing I think is communication and respect. You can have all the love in the world for your significant other, but you got to respect them. You got to be able to communicate mm -hmm. respectfully and, and with love, even when it's not easy. And I think that's something that we've really gone a whole lot better at. And it's really made a difference um, in how we kind of navigate through those difficult situations. Like we spend so much time together that you, you want to be, you want to enjoy spending time together and, and do it a ton. But I think you also have to realize you have to let your partner be independent and strong as their own person uh, when you're in a relationship, mm -hmm. right? So the things that they love to do, allow them to continue to do those, so whether it's trip them. or war, work or whatever it is. So I still want Jojo to, to be a person that loves doing what she loves to do. Sometimes that's with me. Sometimes it's not with me, um, but that makes her the best version right. of herself. And I think that's important when you get together. Sometimes you're like, Oh, we just, that, that's yeah, all we have to focus sure. on. And you lose kind of some of that part of yourself and some of those things that maybe you enjoyed or the person that you were. And I think that that's, that's bad sometimes. Oh, I just love you guys. Oh, you're going to make me cry. No, I'm getting. <laughs> It's so nice to see you guys once again. I'm so happy that we could do this. Thanks to NBC for giving us extended time. JoJo and Jordan's new reality competition series, The Big D, premieres Wednesday, June 14th at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the USA Network. So nice to see you guys once again. Four okay, years. Right oh, my gosh. Temptation how has Island. it been? <laughs> yes, <laughs> Temptation so much, Island. <laughs> see you Thanks, Noah. guys. Y'all Thank take you. care. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> He's so cute. Yeah. I love him.